I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lapino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. The pills would ease the pain. Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? He and Mickey are having too much. Hold it! Ah! Ah! Yeah. He's dead. Eh? No. Eh? Oh. Ah! Looking for Alex, they had ended up in the middle of a big time crime operation. Kiss it good. Oh. Ah! You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appear from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? 
Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. The power to the rail had been cut. I'd have to get it back on to get the train moving. Home free. This way. Hey. Look out! like a Christmas tree. Power was back on. Subtle. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down at Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. 
One way or the other, I was going to find out. Like Lapino. Now that's spooky. Jack Lapino. Yeah, spooky. But also, it's like the failure to get him. Ah! Done here. Give me the detonator. What are you talking about? The detonator. I thought you got him down. Oh! I saw. been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. Okay, fellas. The police are on their way. New York's finest are gonna be here soon. So stick to the plan. We've got our...
come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. Bank robber's score lay on the table. The bank robbers had been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Hold it! Max! Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack! I nearly shot you! Alex, I'm glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue! It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why... This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes.